in the late 1990s, Swiss researchers started a program monitoring shark populations at Rookery Bay National Estuarine Research Reserve. The purpose of that 20-year-long program so far has been to look at the fish communities in three bays in the 10,000 Islands and evaluate maybe how those fish communities have changed over time in relationship to the Picayune Strand Restoration Project. The Picayune Strand Restoration Project is Florida's largest hydrologic restoration project. This project involves removing roads, canals, and other man-made structures. By doing this, water is able to flow more naturally through the Everglades into the 10,000 Islands area. We can show what the change in those fish is going to be over time. How they use these systems differently as the watershed begins to restore through the area. Sharks and sawfish are carefully brought into the boat to be identified, measured, and tagged before release. By documenting the sharks, researchers hope to learn more about how they react to changes in their environment. If the Picayune Strand Restoration Project is successful in restoring the watershed, then the shark populations in the bays downstream will be restored as well.